three ways that help me get nine emails reading. So let's find out. Okay, so first of all is reading online newspaper. So several online newspaper that I frequently use and highly recommend to you guys are The New York Times, The Guardian, so on and so forth. Besides, my teacher at Isle Spider gives me an advice that I can, you know, register an online newsletter from Quartz Daily Brief, which is sent to me via email. So I can broaden my lexical resource in many different fields, for example, like science, economy, and so on. But not in a boring way, since at the same time, I can keep myself updated to news all around the world with vivid illustrations. The second way is setting the time whenever you do the test. Like back in the old days, I did the test spontaneously without setting a proper time limitation or you know, did not complete all three parts in 60 minutes or like be beyond the time allowed. As a consequence, I deficient in time management and cannot complete the test on time. However, when I attend Ms. Johan class, he strongly emphasized this mistake and since then I always set 60 minutes and you know try to spend at least 3 minutes checking again. Okay, so last but not least is paying attention to how the words and sentences are paraphrased. It is incredibly crucial to recognize how the questions are paraphrased. For example, like by using synonyms, antonyms and other structures to have a deep insight into the meaning of the question, especially in yes, no, not given types of questions. Um, so it's optimal to practice paraphrasing. Fortunately, in classes A and B at IELTS Spider, I would ask to paraphrase certain sentences into many different ways. So whenever I take the test, I feel more confident in text comprehension. So that's all about it. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your study. IELTS Spider, be more chill with it. That's so chill, IELTS.